Hello kids. Today we are going to revise the lesson, lesson number nine and lesson number ten, the plateaus and coastal plains and islands. Because of we have second semester exam soon, so we you should. Revise the lessons and bahir the question answers. Learn the exercise too. Okay. So let us see. Let us revise. A plateau is a land form which is a large and raised area of a flat land. Plateau is a land form. Which is a large raised area of flat land. Two, the central highlands. The central highlands lies to the north of the Narmada Valley. The central highlands lies to the north of the Narmada Valley. Number three, the central highlands comprise the Malwa Plateau in the central India and the Chota Nagpur Plateau in the east. The central highland lies to the north of the Narmada Valley, and this central highlands comprises the Malwa Plateaus and the Chota Nagpur Plateau. Malwa Plateaus in Plateau in cent, Central India and Chota Nagpur Plateau in in the east. Number four, Deccan Plateau. This part of the plateau region lies to the south of the Narmada. Where are the Deccan plateaus? This part of plateaus region lies to the south of the Narmada. The delta region of the Deccan plateau being a very fertile, a lot of rice is cultivated here. This region is thus known as a rice bowl of India. The delta plateau of the the delta region of the Deccan plateau is known as the rice bowl of India because because it has a lot of rice cultivated here. This area this region is very fertile. Fine black soil of Deccan plateau is best situated for the cotton crops. Fine black soil of Deccan plateau is best. Situated for the cotton crop. Exercise revision over. Now we are going to see the revise the exercise. Already we solved it. Fill the blanks. Fill the blanks. Take the correct true or false. A. The central highland lies to the north of Narmada Valley. The central Highlands lies to the north of the Narmada Valley. B. The in place of this one blank, we return here. Filled by a Deccan. The Deccan plateau is known as the rice bowl of India. C. In the blank, we filled here Kaveri. Kaveri River is known as the Dakshina Ganga in Karnataka. Kaveri is called as Dakshina Ganga in Karnataka. D. A big multi-purpose dam, Nagarjuna Sagar Dam, has been built across the river Mahanadi Kaveri Krishna. Our answer is Krishna. Nagarjuna Sagar. A multi-purpose big dam is built to across the Krishna River. Okay, kids. Here. Fill in the blanks. Revision over. Now we are going to revise the. Take the true statement and cross for the wrong ones. A. A plateau region is a raised area of flat land. A plateau region is a raised area of flat land. Yes, correct. B. Aravalli Hills lies in the northwest region of the Malwa Plateaus. Yes, it is also correct. C. The Deccan Plateau slope from the east to the west. No, wrong. The Deccan Plateau slopes from east to the west. No, it is the wrong answer. So cross here. 
the plateau region is rich in black soil yes the plateau region rich in black soil correct e the jog falls in the highest waterfall in the india and is located on the river sharavati in karnataka yes it is the correct jog falls is the highest waterfall in india and is located on the river sharavati in karnataka yes it is correct ya mark no pro next on the page and see name the following name the following the mountain range that lies in malwa plateaus which mountains are lying there aravalli and vindhya ranges and such are aravalli and vindhya ranges the mountain ranges that lies in the malwa plateaus are aravalli and vindhya b two rivers that flow into the bay of bengal godavari and mahanadi godavari and mahanadi two rivers names are there b's answer is godavari mahanadi c minerals found in chota nagpur minerals found in chota nagpur are coal iron and bauxite next a big multi purpose dam across the river krishna nagarjuna sagara what is the answer nagarjuna sagara next now answer the following questions question a what is the importance of nagarjuna sagara dam a nagarjuna sagara a big multi purpose dam has been built across the river krishna The dam in the Deccan Plateau are a very important source of water, especially since its rivers are seasonal and they do not have water all around all around the year. They also provide electricity, irrigation, and irrigation to the field in the region. Question B: Why is the Deccan Plateau called a storehouse of mineral? Answer is the Deccan Plateau is a store of minerals and is a very rich in coal, gold, iron, ore, mica, manganese. So that Deccan Plateau is called as the store of minerals. Now see which part of Plateau is called the rice bowl of India and why? Answer. the delta region of the deccan plateau being a very fertile a lot of rice is cultivated here this region is the known as the rice bowl of india now next question question d name four major cities of deccan plateaus major cities of deccan plateaus are hyderabad pune bengaluru nagpur kollapur satara aurangabad you write any four cities okay four cities of the of the deccan plateaus are hyderabad pune bengaluru nagpur kollapur satara aurangabad understood no kids here our lesson revision question answers revision over these all question answers i'll give you again once time in homework okay you read that one by that all now next second question coastal plains and islands we are going to revise the coastal plains and islands let us revise the coastal plains comprises the western coastal plains and the eastern coastal plains coastal plains comprises two plains one is western coastal plains and second one is the eastern coast eastern coastal plains next the gujarat coastline the top part of the western coastal plains has very fertile soil the gujarat coastline the top part of the western coastal line has a very fertile soil the konkan coast 
the mid part of the western coast plains is a rocky and even narrow the balabar coast receive a heavy rainfall has a hot humid type of climate and is a coast is evergreen the konkona coast the middle part of the western coast is a rocky and even and narrow the malabar coast receives a heavy rainfall has a hot and humid climate type of climate and is this coast is evergreen the northern part of the eastern coastal plain is called the northern circus while this southern part is called the koromandala coast the andaman and nicobar islands are situated in the bay of bengal the andaman and nicobar islands are situated in the bay of bengal lakshadweep islands are located near the malabar coast in the arabian sea lakshadweep islands are situated located near the malabar coast in the arabian sea understood no case here coastal plains and the islands revision over lesson division over now we are going to revise the exercise first question one fill in the blanks by selecting the correct option from those given in the bracket question sorry a options given konkan gujarat koromandala we written here gujarat the gujarat coast lies between the gulf of kutch and the gulf of khambad yes correct the options are arabian sea bay of bengal indian ocean the east coast and the west coast meet in the indian ocean yes correct answer c the options are Saurashtra Konkan Malabar we return here Malabar the Malabar coast has several lagoons yes correct the Andaman and Nicobar islands are situated in the bay of bengal yes just we are this one revise the Andaman and and Nicobar islands are situated in the bay of bengal yes correct e options khandala mumbai and margao mumbai is the main city of konkan region yes correct and say is mumbai okay kids here fill in the blanks over now we are going to see the tick the correct statement and pause for the wrong ones already we did it but we are going to revise this one so see carefully learn this one by head this one A a konkan coastal line is rocky and even narrow and narrow yes correct lakshadweep island is located near the malabar coast in the bay of bengal lakshadweep is situated at the near the malabar coast tick the correct statements or true statement and the pause for the wrong ones A a konkan coastline is a rocky and even and narrow yes it is a correct so we marked here t b lakshadweep island are located near the malabar coast in the bay of bengal lakshadweep island are located in the malabar coast yes correct but in the Arabian Sea, not the Bay of Bengal. Understood, my kids? So it is the wrong mark here. Cross. Many oil well have been dug in High Mumbai. Yes. Many oil wells have been dug in the Mumbai. Hi, yes, correct. D. Port Blair is the capital of Andaman and Nicobar. Yes, correct. Port. Blair is the capital of Andaman and Nicobar correct E wheat is the main staple food of people living in the Malabar coast wrong it is the wrong so we marked here cross next answer the following questions what is there 
answer the following question a question a name two important ports on the india's eastern coastal plain chennai and visakhapatnam are the two very important ports on the india's eastern coastal plains question b the eastern coastal plains are more fertile why the eastern coastal plains are more consist fertile because of they consist of the delta of the mahanadi consist of the deltas of the mahanadi godavari and the krishna that make its a track of land for die question c now what are ketualongs people go from one place to another in a small boats they are called the that are called the ketualongs question d now western coastal plains have popular tourist destination explain with example western coastal plains have popular tourist destination explain the with example answer the western coastal plains have some of the best beach in the country most of them are now becoming a popular tourist sports water sports such as a uh, scuba diving and the scorling are the main attraction in the panji in the goa and the tarkarli and the hari hareshwara in maharashtra kerala is also a very popular tourist destination of malabar coast okay kids now next question what are the importance of cash crops of malabar coast answer is coconut cashew nuts spices like a uh, pepper cloves ginger cinnamon are grown in the malabar coast these all are the cash crops of the malabar coast here are question answers also over now we are going to see the fourth one question describe the importance of the following cities in two or three sentences mumbai kochi visakhapatnam and ahmedabad Mumbai Mumbai is the main city of the Konkan region and is located on the Konkan coast. The Mumbai port is a natural harbor and is also India's biggest port. It handles a lot of cargo. Mumbai is India's commercial and a very big trade center. Next Kochi. Kochi another natural harbor is the most important port. on the malabar coast and also has a big ship shipyard and an oil refinery is there visakhapatnam visakhapatnam is a very important port port place and is the natural harbor and also has a huge ship buildings yard and the oil refinery is ahmedabad ahmedabad has a emerge as a important economic and industrial hub in india it is the second largest producer of the cotton in india it is the famous for its textile industry ahmedabad has emerged as a important economic and industrial hub in india it is the second largest producer of cotton in india and it is the famous for its textile industries understood the case here are both the plateaus and the coastal plains and islands lessons revision exercise revision over today's your homework is you read the lesson read the exercise and by head the question answers thank you for watching the video